when do we need to replace or clean the water inlet valve? Well, if the valve is leaking, it's probably due to a crack or something like that in the valve. Uh, or it could be the hoses feeding the valve or coming out of the valve. Uh, the other thing is if there's little or no water entering the dishwasher. If there's little water, then it could be just as simple as a blockage in the screen. Uh, if there's no water, then maybe the valve's not opening, which might be a, the solenoid itself, or it could be the electronics controlling it. And also, if water does not stop entering the dishwasher, in other words, the valve is always open, uh, that could be the inlet valve. It could be something else, electronics controlling the solenoid, keeping it open, but uh, most likely there's a problem with the valve itself. So if you don't have enough water entering the dishwasher, then there's not enough water to dissolve all the soap. And also, you don't have enough water in the dishwasher to create enough pressure to run through all the arms so that you get good spray to clean all the dishes. All right. So now we're underneath the dishwasher and um, you can see right here is the valve. Now I already shut the water off, which is underneath the sink. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove that valve and it takes two two Phillips screwdriver screws, which are located just, you probably can't see it on the camera, right up here. I'm gonna take that out, drop it down. The uh, water hose is still connected to it. Um, I believe we should be able to get it out though. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, I got one screw out. And we got the second screw out. All right, so. The, um, the valve which has a solenoid on it so I'll disconnect the wire to the solenoid okay that's off and I have the hose connection and then I have a connection that goes up to the side of the uh, the water comes in on the side of the uh, dishwasher that hose is connected also so I'm gonna have to that's a clip type hose we'll have to um, get pliers to pop that off and then I'll be able to pull it out and disconnect the uh, other hose which actually huh, interesting I got water in my hand from that that's interesting all right now okay I got the valve out there was the the uh, this is the tube this is where the tube connects that goes up on the inside of the dishwasher to uh, put water into the dishwasher and that's held on with a uh, a clamp one of those clip clamps so you just need you know a set of pliers to uh, pinch and then I just pushed it up out of the way and I was able to pop the hose off so now we're gonna take this is the water hose is coming from a valve that's underneath the sink. I'm going to disconnect that. And then we will take this apart. There's a screen inside of here. 
So the wrench I need to undo the hose is a 5 8 and I'm going to use a, an 11 16 to hold the valve on this side so that I don't damage anything. Okay. So we'll probably have some water come out. It's kind of why I got the the uh, towel here. It's not kind of why. It's why I got the towel here. Not too bad. Uh, oh, okay, you can see the crap coming out right there. Look at all the stuff coming out. Can you see that in the, in the uh, towel? All this stuff right here. All right. So let's take the uh, valve apart. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew this. I'm gonna go put it in a vise to loosen it up and I'll be back. Well, that was on pretty hard, so I was able to loosen it up. It hasn't, I haven't taken it off feet totally yet, but I'm able to loosen it up now. I don't see anything in this. I'm just blowing it out. And there's, I don't know if you can see that. There is the screen. And I think I gotta get a needle nose to get that out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to remove these screws and take that out because I can't seem to get the uh, screen out. So I'm going to remove these screws, which will then allow me to remove the brass part from the plastic part of the uh, solenoid valve. Should probably mark that just so we uh, can remember how it went on. So I'm just going to put a mark on this side. All right. I mean, I've got video. I could always look at the video. I had this apart like five years ago. For the same reason. Aha. Uh -huh. That does not unscrew. It just pops off. So this, this bracket 
is holding it in place. Okay. And there's a rubber O-ring. And it looks like I still need needle nose, which I couldn't find. Let's see, maybe I can use my regular pliers here. No. You got that little plastic thing to grab. Come on, baby. Yep, there we go. All right, so there's the inside of the valve. Oh, there's water coming out. And So here's the the insides of the screen. So if I bang it here, and we already got a bunch of it out before too. So you can see how much came out. And I th I'm wondering if that's coming out of my uh, hot water heater. I'm just going to rinse this out in the sink here. All right, so this seems to be a lot better. So now I just got to put the rubber washer gasket back in and then I'll reassemble it. Now, before I do that, I just wanted to show you. See, here's the here's the leads for the solenoid. This is a coil here. So basically, being a solenoid, when it gets energized, it's just going to open up. There's a valve in here, opens it up. That lets the water in through this side, which then gets filtered and go out into the dishwasher. All right, I've been trying to clean this up I think I'm gonna run on a I've got a wire wheel but that's why uh, you know the appliance repair person would just replace the valve because it doesn't make sense to spend the time trying to clean it out and then put it all together and then find out it leaks still or something like or leaks after doing all that work so um, but anyways let me clean I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit better all right I Cleaned it up on my, I have a brass wire brush uh, on my grinder, so I cleaned it up. So we will re reassemble this now. So, first we're going to do is put the basket back in. Okay, we got the filter back in. Now we'll reassemble the uh, unit. Had to push the filter down a little bit more. There we go. And we'll line up, line up our spots there. And go down like that. Okay. And we'll put our screws back in. I don't know how much one of these valves costs. I haven't looked one up in a while. But I'm going to guess it's 
probably between $25 and $40. And then, of course, if you're doing it on your own, if you're going to replace the valve, you know, you have to wait for the part to come in. That is, if you aren't aware that the valve needs to be replaced and you take it apart and then find out. If you know it needs to be replaced ahead of time, well, then you can order it ahead of time. All right. So now there's the valve all set to go. So now I'm going to reinstall it. Okay, I cleaned the threads out of the Teflon tape. Now I want to make sure we put it on so that when we screw it on, the Teflon tape doesn't come off. So there's one way to do that. Oops. So we want to do it like this. And so by doing that, as you screw it on, it'll keep the Teflon tape on. So now we're gonna put this on the valve. Okay. So let's see here. This has got to go under there like that. We're going to want to tighten this up just a little bit more. So I'm going to tighten this up and I'll be back. Okay, I, had a, I turned it about one more turn so that the valve is facing that way because when the unit is installed like this, this will be facing the back and the hose, the water hose will go right on it. So now we're gonna hook up the water hose, which uh, has a rubber gasket in it. Tighten this down. Come on, baby. There. Tight. Now, let's put it inside. You got to hook up that hose. I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see if I can get you to see it. The hose. Where the hang did it go? Here. Oh, I can't. it's gonna be tight. Just trying to get it on. All right. Well, to say the least, we gotta put we gotta put the hose on this now. So let me get this towel out of the way. You 
This is going to be the fun part. two hands. Okay, I got it screwed in. Let's see if I can get the the hose on it now. Uh, no, maybe that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. do is I think I got the hose on it but I think what I'll do let's see I can't see I think I'm gonna use the camera to take a picture Okay, so I had to pull it back down to see if I got the hose on. I got the hose on. Now I got to move the clip. So I'll move the clip, and then I'll reattach the uh, uh, solenoid back on to these screws right there. Those holes. See these holes right here? This part of the solenoid gets attached there. It goes in like like that all right let me put that clip on and i'll be okay i got the valve hooked up uh, and the hose back on it's just in there if you can see the hose hooked up uh, anyways that's hooked up so now I gotta turn the water on and test it but uh, that's that's it all right okay I got the water on I don't see any drips. All right, let's run it. Let's see what happens. You can hear water coming into the bottom of the unit because it's uh, plastic. There's no drips.
Yeah, all right. Here you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe and press the bell for notifications of when we put out new videos. Thanks again.